of the spouse to be able to uh, have a lifestyle with a husband uh, like what you guys have got. To be very, very honest with you, I absolutely applaud people who get behind the artists and support the artists and let them do the thing that they do to make them such a, a great team. So uh, well done, guys. It's always a nice choice to be able to uh, have that freedom. Got to ask you, though, uh, just before you go on stage, and this is an interesting one. Uh, let's set the scene. The crowd's there. You're at the venue. The lights are up. The smoke machines are going. Uh, the band's on stage. Uh, tell me, Sean, uh, do you get butterflies before you go on stage? Uh, you know, not right before I go on stage. I don't know about you guys. I've never talked about this before. I, I'm about 30 minutes beforehand. And then about 10 minutes before that, I'm fine. I don't know why. I get real calm right before I go on. Okay, so the, the meds have set in by now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I've already, I've already made myself crazy, and I'm better now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not exactly Alex, and I'm always fine. I'm fine, I'm fine. You hit the stage like, oh. But then once we start playing, once everything takes off, then I'm, then I'm back good again. But, you know, when I first hit the stage, it's like, there's, there's that, you know, awkward moment or two, you know, and then uh, once everything goes, it's all good. Exactly. <laughs> you know, uh, the, the, the one that gets me, I've got to be honest with you, is uh, I'm comfortable doing, you know, 10,000, 110,000 people, no worries, uh, but doing a room full of 10 people, now that really gives me the shits. <laughs> That's I, agree with you. I agree with you. It's harder to sing with two people than it is to 20,000. Exactly. Exactly. How dare they look at you? Yeah. Well, yes. yeah it's just strange. Well, anytime you feel like you can hold a conversation with your audience, you haven't been doing very good PR anyway, so you deserve the nervousness you had. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, i, I got to be honest with you. I did a show uh, with 70 people, to be quite honest, with a, uh, a group of retired business associations, if you know what I mean, and... Uh, they wanted to know all about Galaxy, and I'm quite a bubbly kind of person. And you stand up there, and you sort of look at it and go, how the hell did I get here? We played those Yes. I really did. Uh, but having said that, got through it. The lovely folks, they really, really were. In fact, uh, a lot of them are good, uh, good uh, listeners now, they, and do participate with the radio station, so i got to thank everybody that was a part of that, uh, but really, at the same time, it really took a couple of minutes to warm into the idea that I was actually going to be talking, uh, and, and these people were just standing, uh, sitting there staring at me, it was like very unnerving. Yes. No, yes, no music involved, it, it, it's, it, no, I don't recommend it at all, uh, public speaking, it's not good, uh, but having said that now, uh, we've spoken about Sugar and Thunder and how you've got a few re uh, awards for this. Uh, was this another one of your recordings there, uh, Doc? Uh, no, we actually did this one before um, we tricked Doc into joining the band. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was kind of the bait that we used to even get him interested in the first place. And, uh, and believe me, um, I have a strong suspicion that if we would hand him the tracks... He would change it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what professionals and perfectionists are like. You know, he's a mixture of both, if you know what I mean. Uh, but I got to admit, yeah, uh, I, I got to admit, it is an absolute gem to have in your repertoire. It really, really is, uh, because everybody that is listening to it is responding about it. They really, really are. Uh, so believe me, uh, I'd be very, very happy to be able to say. I was the writer of this particular piece of work because it is absolutely brilliant. So without a further ado, let's play it. Here's the Moontrain Saints, Sugar and Thunder. Whew. How are you going? I'm good. You're you. good? Yeah. Nice. Behaving myself. You're behaving yourself. Yeah. Getting lots of shots. No, I'm recording. I do have a trash bag, so... Oh, do you? Yeah, I have upstairs the CD. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I know you Yes. So, um, I'm going to hit you up right now and ask you guys if you've got some CDs that we could give away. Could you send us some? We would love to be able to do a competition and uh, send some out to some of our listeners. Yeah, 
Yeah, give us a place to send them there, and we'll send some to you. Nice, nice. I'll, I'll get Barbara onto that because she's very, very good at putting all those details together. Me, I'm just useless. I can't do damn shit, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get told off for not even um, reposting the posts. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's how good I am. I just you gotta, you, you gotta do that, man. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, I do ask the question, and if people get in touch with you, do you respond? Uh, I'm guilty of saying I can't. I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I have people for that. Oh, I wonder who. Well, that's that's all. I don't have people for that. Yeah. yeah. We need people for that. Yeah, you mean exactly. <laughs> get get yourself people, guys. <laughs> have people. <laughs> <laughs> they they work out to be invaluable. It's just a bad little <laughs> control freak. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, the good thing about it is that um, uh, the management up here is ninety nine point nine percent female, and uh, I am absolutely in my element. Working with all these women. Oh yes, there you go. But well, we know why it runs so smoothly now. Yeah, exactly. That's why I've learned to be compliant. Yes. Not complaining. Not complaining. Apparently, complaining doesn't work for them. Well, that's not my experience. So yeah, you're right. Exactly. Exactly. Anyway, let's get back to the deal. <laughs> Here at Galaxy 107 FM, 14 away from 12 o'clock at 12 degrees downtown. Heading for a high 15 today. I think we're going to get there. Bit of a struggle though, it has been, but I do have faith. It is Wednesday, July 25th. And uh, talking, coming out of Oklahoma, Tulsa, Oklahoma, by the way, uh, to the Moonshine Saints, and of course, we were just listening to Sugar and Thunder. Uh, at the same time, guys, it is an absolute pleasure to be able to talk to you guys. Uh, I was saying before that maybe you'll never want to do this again. Uh, but having said that, <laughs> and ha having put up with me for this amount of time, i got to thank you guys very, very much uh, for being a part of our show here in New Zealand. And it's been an absolute blast, believe me. Apparently the stats are just going crazy right now. Uh, i got to ask you, though, Sean, how long have you been singing? Uh, it sounds like you've been doing it since you were uh, uh, basically out of the womb. Well, my parents always told me that I, even as a baby, I sang myself to sleep. And so I have always been singing. I've seen myself just kind of all the time. At some, and I've always loved it. At some stage, I should probably get some kind of vocal lessons. <laughs> I, we're very strong to get really well now. Yeah, I, I probably should take a vocal lesson or two, but yeah, I've just been singing my whole life. Don't you bloody dare. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess up a good yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, you don't need oil for that machinery, for sure. Uh, well, thank you. But having said that, you see, I sing tenor, or maybe 12 miles away from anybody that can hear me. <laughs> So I am absolutely envious of somebody who can actually uh, do a job to the highest calibre uh, like you guys can. And, and Doc, uh, uh, extra props for you being an engineer myself, I can relate to you very, very well. And uh, I will make sure that we Facebook each other so that we can set these guys up for when they come here in New Zealand. Sweet. Sounds great. Yeah, That's awesome. absolutely. And of course, uh, let's not forget uh, Justin B... Uh, Barber. Uh, <laughs> and Bob Lynn, our bass player, Bob Lynn, too, he's not here this evening either. Exactly. You know, it's always the back line, isn't it? Well, who knows what they're doing? I didn't think about that. They're not here together. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But hold on. You've got a couple of guitarists, one on either side of you. What's going on there? <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> we could turn a whole lot around on that one, can't we? Uh, but uh, <laughs> I'm really, really excited to be able to say uh, that the number one song that we have for you guys is Hell or High Water. And we've got about uh, just on 11,000 requests from this, simply from the time we've been playing it. And we absolutely love it. it. It stopped a lot of our officers here. The staff wanted to have a listen to it, believe me, when they first heard it. So tell me, oh, sorry, thank you. Tell me about the success case. Where did it come from? Uh, Hell or High Water is a song, lyrically, it's about um, being an underdog. It's about uh, the people who want to tell you that you can't do something because they're just think so much of themselves. And uh, it's essentially a song just saying... Um, if you want to fight, we can do that. I like that. I, I really like that, and maybe that's why it is my favourite song. Uh, you see, we have all here come from uh, the big city of Auckland down to this little township, and everybody, all of our associates up there, we, why would you do that? Well, you know, economically, it's uh, far better down here than what it is in Auckland. Uh, and at the same time, there's a lot of different cultures starting to overrun the place up there at the moment. I'm not going to say, no, I'm not going to say that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you want me to name a culture? <laughs> I'm not going to get into trouble. Uh, but, <laughs> in the way we're going to go... probably going to go off the air after this interview. Yeah, yeah, never know. <laughs> Maybe my Asian cousins over there are just going to turn off now. That's what it is. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, I have absolutely uh, no, pre no prejudice bone in my body, so I'm not going to say that at all. Uh, but it is happening, and it is more economical to be where we are. And we've got three major cities around us. And, and uh, do you guys, have you guys ever heard of Lord of the Rings? Yes. yes. Okay, ju just uh, about an hour and a little bit away from us is Middle Earth. <laughs> all right. Yeah, it's yeah. around there. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, we, that? that is a lot of fun. We like taking our bands and our uh, guests to New Zealand there to go and have a look around uh, Hobbiton, for instance, and uh, meet a few people. A couple of actors still uh, uh, frequent the place, if you know what I mean. Uh, always a lot of fun there. So uh, if you feel like you would like to come to New Zealand and participate in, in doing something like that, we'd be honoured to take you there. Well, well, I, I tell you what, you, you're onto a winner right away uh, because Barbara actually has a farm and uh, she has sheep and all that sort of thing on her farm and she loves to be able to take people there and show them around her backyard. Oh, we'd love to see it. Yeah, that'd be awesome. There you, there you go, Barbara. I've just given you a whole band. You sing on the, <laughs> sing on the day. What are you going to commit? It's, it's so much cheaper for us to stay at Barbara's anyway than it is to have to put up a hotel. Yeah, absolutely. And she's got a wonderful husband. I, I will let you know the skinny about him later. <laughs> no, he is a nice guy. He really, really is. Uh, and he knows that I joke a lot about him. Uh, so, because uh, he used to work for me, so I'm allowed to now. Poker stick. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but I am going to get him back to work for me again. So, uh, uh, problem is, you know, he's so good at what he does, he breaks his neck. Wow, okay. Yeah, so uh, we've nicknamed him Neck Minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of you. That's very sweet of you to do. Exactly. You know, uh, most people we tell them to go and break a leg. Well, guess what? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Chris, we love you. We do. Uh, having said that, though, I have got to move on. I'm getting a, a word in the air. Moonshine Saints from right here at Galaxy with Hell or High Water, the number one song for the Moonshine Saints. You hear a Galaxy. <laughs> love this. Love this track. I think this was the first one I played for you. Yeah, it was. It, it's the one that stopped the office. Mm. Oh God, you sound like me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end of the day for me. Oh, you're lucky. You're lucky. I've got a few more hours. Um, get to work about 2, 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. Might get home by about 11 at night. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's brutal. Told you I work for women. What do you expect? <laughs> Squeeze every dollar. I'm just trying to wrap my, rap, my mind around this tomorrow. 
Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, it's hump day here. Wednesday yes. the 25th. Uh, you guys are Tuesday evening, right? Yeah. Yes, we are. Okay, here, here's the deal. Um, I'll get Barbara to send you the lotto numbers on Friday night, uh, on Saturday night. On Friday, you can go and buy the tickets now. If you win anything, I'll go you 50-50. I'm, I'm ashamed to say that we thought that ourselves and we were, we were hoping that might be the deal. <laughs> I love these We're going to be retired living with Barbara. We're yeah, going to exactly. move to Barbara's farm. Exactly. No kangaroos. <laughs> That's right. No snakes, no alligators. No snakes, no... No crocs, no... no. Yeah, none of the... Just a poisonous spider. And a husband. I don't know. <laughs> flatmate. You're my flatmate. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, hold on. She's pointing a camera at me. It must be question and answer time. Yes, Barbara. I have photos. You have photos? Yeah. Of what? Oh. Oh, hold on. Ransom time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Stop, stop picking on the husband or I'll let the photos out. <laughs> Yours. Yeah, mine. <laughs> She's caught me in some um, moonshine moments, let's put it like that. Yeah. Uh, the beauty is we can actually make our own alcohol here in New Zealand. We've never had prohibition or any of that stuff. Uh, so yeah. we're, we're very good at it. That's, but for me, I like naughty stuff. So if it's illegal over there, I want to have a go. <laughs> let's go back to the desk. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107. You finally did it, you got me. <laughs> right at the end, we have this little game, I've got to be honest with you guys, uh, where Barbara and Paul's faces does all sorts of things to try and distract me from doing what I do. And uh, usually just as the ad stinger comes up, uh, she'll come up with something very, very clever. This time she actually got me, so I'm going to have to buy her a pie later from the bakery. Good job, Barbara. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's either that or a lamington or something like that. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> But having said that, uh, here's something you may be interested in. Here in New Zealand, every month or two, we have to do a fire drill where all the staff have to go outside, make sure that the building's not on fire. We know where to congregate. You, you know the scenario, right? Uh, it's basically 22.1 steps away from the front door, which happens to be just quite comfortably smack in front of the bar right across from us. <laughs> Convenient. Convenient. Good, good planning, Grant. Proud of you. Yeah, absolutely. We A nice little bit of grass in between us, you know what I mean? It's a pleasant walk all the way over there. And, and uh, usually, <laughs> us, usually we don't get caught for drinking driving on the way back to the office. Genius. Yeah, absolutely, Genius. absolutely. So if you're going to get involved with me, you know at least one thing. Uh, I know how to plan a good beer. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Nice, nice. Uh, I'm going to have to wrap this up right now, guys, but don't go anywhere just yet. Uh, Barbara's got a couple of things that uh, we usually do after or uh -huh. post-interview, if you know what I mean. Uh, but I sure. do, do have to thank you so much. Uh, for taking time out of your evening this evening, it must be about dinner time over there right now, uh, for looking at an ugly guy like me. I've got the perfect face for radio, I've got to be honest. Uh, but it has been an absolute pleasure to catch up with you guys. It has been a fascinating trip following you guys since we first started playing news, and we'd love to be able to uh, do another interview in the very near future, and uh, ho hopefully we can get some new music from you, and keep following you, and keep playing your music. 
Having said, we're going to do our part. We'll get you music. Nice. Now, having said that, I'm going to get on my hands and knees and say, listen, if you got any CDs, how would you like to pass us some down here, down under? We will uh, get Barbara to send you all the details and uh, do a few giveaways to our listeners here at Galaxy. Keep your name rolling on our radio station. Keep your music playing. Oh, we can do that. We'll make it happen. Awesome, mate. Absolutely brilliant. I got to thank you guys. Uh, and uh, please. Uh, if you're going to go out and have a few beers, do not buy the backline one. Okay. <laughs> they don't. Okay. They don't deserve it. Yeah, they, they deserve. They deserve nothing. They ex- get nothing. Exactly. You know. Um, and uh, uh, of course, uh, don't forget to be able to uh, make sure that they donate to the swear jar. Uh, well, yes. <laughs> well, yeah. o- always good to pay for new picks and strings, isn't it? <laughs> Buy a car over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you've got a spare one, send one over. <laughs> but we, uh, in all honesty, uh, I'm going to have to wrap it up right now. It is 12 o'clock right here. And you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Here's REM, the man on the moon. Oh, I just hate it when it won't turn off. Oh, what? Really? Oh, there's a bugger. Hey, thank you guys. That was an absolute pleasure. Hello.